reported that he was a pessimist. He didn't really think that he'd do very well, and unfortunately he didn't. But you say that Lady Luck is on your side. Oh, it is. I know that we <laughs> happened to call you on your birthday. That's, yes. That was the only thing you My wanted for your birthday? My 29th birthday, it was. And, and Millionaire <laughs> called? Yes, they did. I was very excited. And then you've been collecting all your horoscopes, <laughs> right, since then? And what are they all saying? Uh, Lady Luck is going to smile upon me. Um, you know, I'm just blessed with good fortune and... Good things are going to happen. So I should just give you the million dollar check Go right ahead. now, shouldn't Come I? Come on. Yeah, I know. Well, we, you know, we kind of have to play the game. So let's do it just to do it. All, All right. right. You know the rules. You know the lifelines. You ready to go? Let's play. Let's play. <laughs> Which of the following is often referred to as legal tender? Clothing, alcohol, money, Pokemon cards. <laughs> that would be C, money, final answer. That would be right. You have $100. Going for 200 <laughs> What adjectives, two different meanings, are often characterized as ha-ha or peculiar? Curious, funny, clever, weird. That would be B, funny, final answer. Yep, you yeah. have a view of the 300. <laughs> what star's longtime relationship with Kurt Russell began when they starred in the 1984 movie Swing Ship? Goldie Hawn, Kim Basinger, Melanie Griffith, Jessica Lange. I love her, Goldie Hawn, A, final answer. I love her, too. you got to ride the $300. I want her. Going for possible hundreds. In the 1950s, the search for suspected communists was often referred to as a what? Dragon hunt? Vampire hunt? Mummy hunt? Witch hunt? Um, let me ask the audience. Okay, audience, Sharon needs your help. If you're ready, vote now. Okay, 91% of the folks in this audience believe it is a witch hunt. And our AOL audience, 71% of them believe it's witch hunt. Not as high a number, but still very high there. So everybody seems to think witch hunt, or the majority do. Okay. What were you thinking? I was thinking witch hunt. It's so obvious. Everybody at home is saying, duh. <laughs> it's obvious. So I will say B, witch hunt. Make me say it. Final. Duh. <laughs> you got it for $500. Sharon has $500. Going for $1,000. We'll be right back with more millionaires. <laughs> now you can be a part of Millionaire's Ask the Audience Lifeline by using AOL Instant Messenger. To sign up, go to millionairetv.com. Helping you out with the audience's help now you're up to 500 going for a thousand are you ready to play let's play let's oh, play that's, that's okay <laughs> going for a thousand here Sharon. aimed at achieving peace in the middle east the 1993 oslo accords were negotiated in what country denmark norway iceland finland um i'll do the 50 50. Okay, computer, please randomly take away two of the wrong answers. Norway or Iceland? I will say B, Norway, final answer. Yeah, look at this. You got your cat <laughs> one check for $1,000. Good for you. Yeah. Hold on to that for insurance. Okay. You're going for $2,000 here, Sharon. In email, what icon is commonly used to indicate that there is an attachment? Paperclip, thumbtack, stapler, rubber band. That would be a paperclip, final answer. Give me back the $1,000. You got $2,000. Closed captioning sponsored.
works in a library but has always wanted to be a rock star. So if she <laughs> wins enough, there might be an extreme makeover in her future. Yes. Welcome to you. What kind of a rock star? Who? Is there somebody in mind? Well, I like John Bon Jovi, but I think that would be too extreme yeah, of a that's makeover. Yeah, a little drastic. <laughs> <laughs> Although people are doing it these days, but I don't know. Let's, uh, let's go for Pat Benatar. She's a little more. Yeah. Oh, that's a... <laughs> that's an excellent choice. Do you have the pipe? Oh, yeah, I got pipes. Oh, yeah? <laughs> oh, I will have to... I'm the karaoke queen of Cleveland, honey. <laughs> <laughs> now, Sharon, you said to me on the way out that, that you, uh, you were crying last oh. night. You felt really depressed. Why? Because when I got in the chair, and I want you people at home to know this, that you doubt, the chair doesn't make you gamble. It makes you doubt yourself. And even though the question seemed easy, and I mean, in my head, I'm saying, I know this answer. It was just like... My mouth was running 300 miles a minute, and my brain was going 400 miles a minute, and I was just spitting things out. And so I burned through lifelines, and I felt like I let everybody down, and I wouldn't be able to get that surgery. No. <laughs> <laughs> well, first LASIK. of all, LASIK. no, you can never, you should <laughs> never doubt yourself a millionaire. Never look back. You only look forward or look out at this audience, because everyone here wants you to make it to a million dollars. You have to know. Your husband, Jerry, who's sitting behind you, he really wants you to make it to a million, don't you, Jerry? Oh, he you does. know it. I love her to death. Let's go. <laughs> Let's go. All right. All right, Jerry. Well, listen, Sharon, you're at $2,000. You're at $2,000. You're nine away from the million. You still have a lifeline, okay? Your phone a friend, which is a great lifeline to have. And if you get to the $25,000 level, you will get our new lifeline. Switch the question. So it ain't over, honey. Okay. And? check ready for you the capital one check for a million bucks it is here so okay. blind this me. close to where you are so no tears <laughs> are you ready to play sure audience are you ready <laughs> let's play millionaire all right sharon for four or should i call you pat for four thousand dollars <laughs> as a professional boxer muhammad ali fought in what weight division Middleweight, featherweight, heavyweight, welterweight. I seem to recall him always bragging, float like a butterfly, sting like a bee, a heavyweight champion of the world. I'm going to say heavyweight, final answer. Love him. You are right. <laughs> Before the Guys who weigh more than 190 pounds. That's how you get to be a heavyweight. So if you weighed a little over. Oh, and you're talking about me. No, not you. <laughs> not you. Going for 8,000 here. A traditional Italian delicacy, pancetta, is a type of what? Cured pork, goat cheese, toasted bread, cream filled pastry. You like Italian delicacy? My husband is an Italian delicacy. <laughs> Jerry, what do you like? <laughs> okay. <laughs> I'm pretty sure that pancetta is a type of bread. Well, you do have the lifeline if you need it. Yeah. That's why it's there. Yeah. You don't want to leave any on the table. You know you what? I think I will use it. Yeah. Okay. I think I will call my friend Vern. Vern? Yeah. Okay, we're going to get Vern on the line. Hello? Vern. Yes. Hey, it's Meredith from Millionaire. How uh, are you? I'm fine. Yourself? I'm great. Are you excited that we called you? I am excited and oh. nervous. Oh, terrific. Well, Sharon's sitting here. She's got 4000 She's going for 8000 Okay. Sharon, you have 30 seconds and your time starts now. A traditional Italian delicacy Pancetta is a type of what? That's P-A-N-C-E-T-T-A. -T -T Cured pork, goat cheese, toasted bread, cream-filled pastry. Uh, what are the choices again, please? Pork, cheese, bread, or pastry. Pancetta. Uh, it's uh, pork. I was thinking of, it sounds like bread, but it's not. It's pork. 
Jeff Burns. I will say eight, here's pork, final answer. Yeah, he told you it sounded like bread. It does, but it's pork, you got it. Thank you. 